Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 season in review. Uh, I'm your host today, Karma. Back with a video I haven't made one in a while, but we're here today with Cows and Bevo, um, just like last time. So let's get right into it. Um, and if people don't remember, um, here's Cows, myself, Bevo, and obviously we had uh, a discord of the in the Australian community that came up with a bunch of the other um, the other answers for today. Um, Cows, how are you going? You going well? Yeah, doing good. Just got back from Daytona. Didn't commit general assault. I mean, I think we're doing all right today. <laughs> good start. And Bevo? Yeah, doing good. Sweet. It's short, sharp and sweet just so we can get into your <laughs> awful Williams picks. So let's get into round one. <laughs> <laughs> so round one was all the generic yeah. questions with the five points uh, for the correct answers. So got our little scores there on the side that we'll be able to track. Oh, fuck. We do not have a score tally. We have a score tally. <laughs> so we Damn. Do. Here we go. Round one I have question. Picks. <laughs> <laughs> round one, question one. Who will be the F1 driver's champion? Now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh, no. Now, you pick you pick Charles, um, <laughs> and well, uh, you know what happened. Well, Charles didn't even come second. Um, so here's the thing, you guys. I was just at Daytona and I saw the cutest couple. They're wearing red overalls, this cute little Ferrari jumpsuit, and they were both wearing fucking clown costumes. If that tells you anything about my answer, there it is. <laughs> That's elite that they were wearing cloud costumes. But here you go. I've got Max I swear Verstappen. to God, I got the picture. I'll send it to you right now on Discord. I send it to you. I'll put it on the street. <laughs> I'll put it on the video. That's right. It was the <laughs> cutest couple's costume I've ever seen. They were so happy and they were fucking hammered. Uh, there it is. I'll, I'll put it on the video. Soak it in. They even got the snail logo. I'll put it in the video. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, for each one, we're going to have the result in red. The points gained in red. The tally will move on the left and the actual result of it. So it'll be max with 575 points. So per question, it will actually say below um, how, well, how they went in terms of the answer for the question. So moving on, so. who will be the F1 Constructors Champion? Now, <laughs> Cows, obviously you've, you've, you've gone through with your, um, your Ferrari prediction yep. here because of Charles. You're thinking, well, if Charles is gonna win the title, then Ferrari are gonna win uh, the title. But obviously, we all know that is not the case. 860 points to, to Red Bull. So, everyone but Cows is on a, is on 10. <laughs> I feel like it's only going to get worse for me from here. So, yeah, we've all started off quite well. But, um, you know, there's 40 questions to get through. So, <laughs> we're only on number two. So, you can also come back. So, who will finish last in the F1 Drivers' Championship? Now... We went Logan Sargent and you went Alexander Albon. <laughs> Alexander Albon to finish last. And I told you, I remember, I told you that that was, that was the stupidest decision you can make. Shut you up. thought Logan Sargent was going to be this <laughs> excellent driver. Alex Albon. Albon's washed. He's washed. He's not good. He's overrated. He's trash. Dude got kicked out of Red Bull and then is now back in a Williams, dude. He's, he, I mean, yeah, this just not happening. So you don't He's like, gonna be the new Latifi. You don't he, like Albon, really? No, no. Dude, he can change his hair color to whatever the fuck he wants to. He's not gonna be better than Logan Sarge. <laughs> and the, um, what happened there, mate? First year, it's okay. Rookie year, rookie mistakes. We come back next year stronger and better than ever. So actually, nobody gets any points here because it was actually Nick DeVries. Uh, cause he got zero. Dude, that's all that matters. Yeah, he came 22nd. So, Logan Sargent came 21st, I'm pretty sure. I just know that I didn't much. have, I didn't, I, already, I knew he wasn't lasting. I didn't have any Nick DeVries pick. I know that for certain. And so, I'm, I can't wait to see who has Nick DeVries picks. Let's just, unless it's anything I like he this. existed, to be honest, until you brought him up. Yeah, look, I went through this. I'm like, oh, crap, Nick DeVries was, in, was driving this year. <laughs> I completely forgot. Because, like, at the start, I remember I was banging on about how good he's going to be. And then he ended up getting kicked out round 10 or something so yeah, yeah um, what was it they used them like a tender date just a quick in and out <laughs> it was a little quickie wasn't it but another one where i don't think we did too well who will finish last year for constructors championships and we've all gone williams 
Uh, as we know, that's not the case. Haas came 10th with only 12 points, which... Why does this feel personal? W Williams... <laughs> <laughs> Williams came 7th, I believe. Um, I think they came 7th. But, like, that bottom group, like, that bottom four... Those bottom, like, four teams were all... It could have been anybody. Yeah, it could have been any of those four teams on the bottom. Dude, Haas deserves to be put in a special ed class. Like, they need their own race yeah. at the back with some short vehicles. Well, like, they... that shit's hard to watch, dude. Yeah, I've well... been sticking through since Mazden. These motherfuckers are Put them in the F1 you. Academy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mazda can beat up on more women. Let's go! <laughs> I've seen that clip. That, that's, yeah, that's a while ago, actually. But, um, Haas, uh, they also sacked Gunther, like, on the spot. They didn't even let him say goodbye or anything. They kind of just walked him out of his office. I don't know. Don't get me started on that shit. I'll be here for an hour. <laughs> Moving on. Who will have the most retirements? Now, well, there's a lot of different picks here. So, Cows has got Ocon. I went Zhao. Um, and then, obviously, the, the Discord and Bevo went Sonoda. Do you oh, guys want to guess who actually had the most DNFs? I, I think I like I it was Yuki. Been. That was a good pick. Yuki, Bevo? Logan Sargent. You would be correct. It was Sergeant and Ocon, so Cows gets a point. Oh my god. Th they both had seven DNFs. Twenty. Now, was this DNFs? Yeah, didn't finish. Okay. Yeah, did not finish. Now, how about the Destructors Championship with the money? Who did more financial damage? Was that the Frenchie or was that the American? I think Sergeant, because Esteban Ocon was a lot of engine failure. Like, he had, like, he got the, the engine failure. <laughs> it, it, well, he obviously... French. Yeah. I, th I think Sergeant, I think, it caused more... Destruction, I think. I'd have to look that I'll up. Tell you what, I'll did, put that on the screen. I did pick Ocon for the engine failure, so I'll take that one and put it in my bag. So there you go. The f you can always rely on the French for having a terrible engine well, you can't rely on the French. I think that's the problem. <laughs> Next one. Who will have the most pole positions? Um, we all went... <laughs> most of us went Charles, but we all know the answer. It's, it's Max. Max had 12 pole positions. He had half of the poles yeah, in this... Yeah, so Bevo, you started off pretty good. You're yeah, I'm just trying to get my licks in while I can because I know it's a uh, uphill battle from here on out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. No, but we we all understand like why we pick Charles. Charles is, has the worst pole position to race win conversion rate of all time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah, we Max can win all the races, sure, but Charles is quick over one lap, so that makes sense. But good on you, Bevo, taking the lead. Next one. Who will win the most yeah. sprint races? And if anything is to go by from before, Cows, you got Charles again. <laughs> Dude, was I sucking his dick or something when I made these picks? Holy shit, this is bad. <laughs> this is really <laughs> bad, guys. So this, is, uh, this is worse than fucking people picking Logan Sargent in the entire second half of this thing. Damn. So out of the sprint races, Max won four. Uh, I believe Oscar won the Qatar one. And was it, did George win the other one? I can't remember who won the other one. Sergio Perez wins the sprint and takes the checkered flag for Red Bull. Or it was Piaz, wait, Oscar? Did yeah, you say Oscar? Yeah, Oscar, yeah. Oscar won, won Qatar. Yeah. I can't remember who won the other one. Was the other one supposed to be Imola and it got canceled? That sounds right. Yeah, no, it's- It could have been. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Somebody in the comment section, let us know who it was. Maybe it was Nick DeVries. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I remember Logan Sargent winning that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was, da yeah, it was yeah, Daniel yeah. Ricciardo in the first half of the season. He, he must have. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm doing. Who will have the most fastest laps? Uh, you've gone Charles oh again, Charles. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm not alone on this one, motherfucker. Hop in the boat and burn Yeah, baby. no, I went Charles because I was thinking one lap pace. He's usually, you know, the fastest over one lap. So uh, I want you to just hear me out for a minute. Autism is a superpower. And clearly based on their strategy, Ferrari has plenty of autism to work with. <laughs> so they should have a fast car over one lap. And they do. They just can't hold on to it. So hear me out. 2024 is our year. Well, I hope it is because somebody needs to contest him. Because Max Verstappen had nine fastest laps <laughs> so to another five points Bebo you got five, five so far let's Bebo. go in the first 
questions. Now, which team will have the fastest oh. pit stop? Now, do you remember which team it was? McLaren. It was McLaren, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah guess who picked McLaren? <laughs> I knew it, dude. I you called that. Son of a bitch. Throw the, clip in, throw the clip in of me calling it because they had it last year, and I knew it was coming. Another thing with pit stops and a pit crew, from coming from NASCAR, like a, a good pit crew, if you have people that are training and people that know what they're doing, like you can have a very, really good pit crew. And McLaren has that, so they can continue to train, and they know what to do, and they know what to do right now. And to take away fastest pit stop from Red Bull, which, I mean, they seem to always have it, you know? Yeah. So I think that they could do it again. Yeah, but McLaren, was, that was... Yeah, far out. And that was in Qatar, I believe, um, as well. Uh, they did the 1.8 second pit stop, I think. I don't know. I might correct myself there, but... No, oh, that sounds right. Yeah, I remember being in yeah. Qatar, one of the Middle Eastern tracks late in the season. Yeah, so Bevo starting off real strong, 30 points in this first round. Qatar, they also each had, yeah. what, like five attempts each because they had so many all of the mandatory pit stops. I mean, they had plenty of practice. It was a mandatary. Time to do it, it was yeah. Qatar. It was mandatory three stops. So if you had two cars, it would have been six stops minimum. Oh, what so. a great race. Will there be a first time race winner in F1 2023 season? We all said true. Um, now, b per contrary, I said race winner, not sprint race winner. So it's false because uh, we didn't. We only had three different actual race winners. We did have Piastri, but sprint race doesn't count. Um, so yeah, see, that's fine. As long as I get them wrong and y'all get them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we do. You, I, I know it's in the next one, but do you remember how many different race winners that we had? Two, three. Uh, no, because we Two, had three, the three, Mexican three, three, Minister three, of Defense for earlier three. season. Then we had Mr. Boo. Do, 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 and then uh, who was the third one? Smooth Operator. Ah, oh, Singapore, that's right. Yes. What a race. Operator. So that's the end of the, um, the first round. So we move on to round two. So just before I start, we can see our points there on the right. Cows, you got one question right in the first 10. Uh, so I'm going to blame Charles for that one, all right? You went one from 10. I went three from 10. Bevo went six from 10. And the Discord went four from 10. So considering that they were the easy questions, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to the harder ones. Which rookie driver will score the most points? <sighs> now, Cows, you're going to hate yourself. But you went Nick and At least my driver didn't get kicked out. <laughs> and Bebo went with Logan Sargent, which was three points to me, um, I must say. So obviously, my, gender, my driver fell victim to a fucking three month pool. That's also going to be for women, not F one teams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I reckon Cash should get minus ten for that for that answer, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> Considering you got booted, but no, Piastri ninety seven points. Um, so that's plus ten. Relegate his points. Pardon? Driver gets relegated. Driver gets relegated. Relegate his points. <laughs> Put him back to zero. It's not much of a loss. Yeah. <laughs> He would only have to get one question right to be double what he has now. Correct. So moving on. All right, all right. Just wait for fucking Mr. Sergeant over here with his 911 oil money to come in and ruin your score. <laughs> the the F1 wet tire wall will get you the wet tires. Sorry, the F1 wet tires, the blue wall ones, will get used in the 2023 oh. season. Now, oh. now oh. we all said true. Oh. And what we did? They did get used they got used oh. in monaco if you remember nice they got used did they get used in the netherlands right at the beginning in zanvoort was that just inters did they did, people I don't, I did don't... they go full wets for that i think people only went inters for that i can't remember but i, I definitely know that they used them at monaco because um yep. they had to Fucking do because it was piercing down with rain on the race start and they had to the the fia said that they had to all swap to wets for the race start so we all get. Nah, they had 
Kevin Magnuson out on hards in the pissing rain for like three laps out to like a soaking wet dog stuck in the backyard on a chain. And then they put him on full wets as soon as the track starts trying. Don't even get me started on hard strategy. It makes Ferrari look like a fucking PhD lecture. <laughs> The next question, two out of three rookie drivers will outscore their teammate. Well, okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. What were we? DeVries is an instant no, right? <laughs> and obviously we yeah. know that Logan Sargent is awful. So okay. the answer is obviously, um, well, outscore the teammate. No, Piaggio didn't outscore his teammate. Uh, yes, nobody did. No one outscored their teammate, so I, I copped a, I copped an L on that one. My thought process was Piastri may outscore um, Lando because he's a jet, and then Lando and was then, that guy. And then I didn't think Logan Sargent was going to, but I thought DeVries might, and then he gets booted. So it's just like, well, shit. What do you do? All right, wow. a race will be cancelled or called off during the F1 2020. Three, well, I was supposed to say season. Jeez, I had a stroke while I was doing this, didn't I? Excluding China. Because China was caught off before the season even started. Um, and we knew about it. So, I've gone true. Do you remember which race? Oh, so you predicted the Imola. fucking floods of Imola. Yeah, yeah I Imola. I Imola. Imola. I get the 10 points for Imola. Because it, it was a race that got called off. Um... Not to say that I was happy that it got called off, but I when I saw it get called off, I was like, oh, that's 10 points. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, wow, yes. Yeah, Families are losing yeah, their homes to the biblical floods. I just got 10 points in my season review of that one 2024. Ooh-wee! <laughs> 2023. Oh. Uh, moving on. How many different race winners will there be? Now, we spoke about this before, and... Um, there's a few sevens, oh God, what was I a five I and a six, and there was only I was, three. I was, I was close. It was giving me points. Now, can we wind this back for a moment and exclude Max Verstappen and recalculate those race winners? Like, let's say Jos Verstappen didn't beat the shit out of his kid and he wasn't a great champion. Like, would we actually have seven race winners? No. No. It'd be like Alonso. You'd add Liz Alonso. You'd add Leclerc. You'd add Hamilton. And you'd add Lando. Actually, no, you Lando. No, you you do. Yeah, you at least get a yeah, good Lando mix. and Piastri. You got the smooth operator, the Mexican. I think it's Piastri, eight. Piastri, Lando, Lewis. Yeah. Alonso is at least six. Yeah, Alonso would have won Jeddah. And then you throw somebody else into that Red Bull instead of Max. They got a win right there. I mean, call that I don't know Daniel Ricardo, Yuki Sonoda, whoever you want. Sounds like you should. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Daniel Ricciardo will get a seat for the 2024 F1 season. Now, uh, when I wrote this, I kind of was taking the piss a bit, but there's three of us that have gone true and vivo has gone false, and he actually does. I don't know why I, didn't, I would do that, to be and honest. I, and we know, we know it is Alpatari, obviously, but I've wrote it at the expense of who, meaning... Um, who else should have gone in that seat? Do you reckon Liam Lawson should be in that seat over Daniel Ricciardo? <laughs> well, Liam Lawson. No? Why no? Let Daniel have, let Daniel have his comeback era. Daniel's the I Taylor mean, Swift would... of, of that form. Huh? <laughs> what? What are you really on <laughs> about? Did you say Taylor Swift? He's the Taylor Swift of that one. He's on his Eras tour. He's coming back. That's he's coming cool. back to do it. Holy fuck! He's right. Who let him cook? Well, he might. <laughs> he might get put in the um, the Red Bull maybe. The Bull. Maybe. That's maybe, what we're talking. Maybe if uh, Perez falls unfortunately ill, um, Daniel gets his promotion. Well, I don't know. He falls into another woman. It isn't his wife in Monaco. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Speaking of those types of places, who will win Vegas? Um, well, no one went oh. for Verstappen. <laughs> what the? <laughs> um, and I went Hamilton. The cows went Perez because it's straight circuit. Obviously, you pick you pick Perez. Bevo Charles. He came second. I know Perez came third. But 
Why Charles? Why did you go Charles for? They were, to, they were supposed to be better. What do you mean they were supposed to be? But there was a disappointment, and I'll never. Hey, bro, stop stealing my lines. <laughs> so Max Verstappen, because because of course he did. <laughs> of course he fucking won Vegas. Which team will consecutively have with will collectively sorry have the most retirements? And Kaz, you've gone with the Alpine. I just want to. And you know what? They may have had. Ocon had seven, but they didn't have the most. Williams had the most. What? Williams had the most with 11, and I think Alpine had 10. I think Gasly only DNF two or three times. I literally had the French national anthem pulled up in front of me, and fucking Fentanyl Boy is going to take away my joy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Well, you're only on 35 points, so you're having a, you're having a very rough time, I must say. Yeah, I who, feel like Logan. Who will win the most overtakes award? A lot of us went Alonzo. Um, obviously, Alonzo being somebody who is, is you know, a profound overtaker. Um, usually starts mid-pack and works his way up. But, Kaz, you've gone for K-Mag. He's a fucking Viking, all right? Hear me out. He's he's stuck in a shit car. He ain't got nothing to do. He would cook if he was next to Alonzo, but I should have believed the no plan. That's my fault. That so, was bad. That hurts to look at. Yeah, so we should have... You say that, but what we should have actually done is looked at how bad Sergio Perez is at qualifying. And um, he actually had 104 overtakes. Jesus. Of course he did. Because Alonso, Alonso probably got overtaken more than he had overtakes. How many? How many did Fernando have? I think he had eighty-seven or something like that. I think it was in the eighties. He had a good year too. Yeah. All this but he, di- he died. He died track. halfway through the year though, because the car yeah. died. Like the car was just rubbish. Yeah. Now, I mean, Checo died halfway through the season because he wanted to throw his career away. This is true. Now, the next one. Which team will have the largest points gap between their two drivers? Um, now, Kaz has gone Aston Martin, which is actually a very valid pick um, for this. I went the Tarry because I thought um, DeVries was going to destroy Sonoda. And, um, and um, Biro went Ferrari. Discord's gone the Red Bull. And that's what it is, mate. I mean, performance gap, we all know the inbred is far behind El Plan, but... In terms of performance, correct, yes. But you don't get points sitting in in the midfield, so... Valid. That's the end. We're moving on to round three. So this was the teammate head-to-head who will outscore the other driver. So we can blast through this one pretty quick. Just for a points review, we got 35 for Cows, 55 for me, 50 for Bebo, and 80 for the Discord. So, Bebo, you're now third after the strong start. This score don't even count in my head. <laughs> well, they're about 70, 80 different lines. All yeah, this score's the equivalent of like a bunch of monkeys pushing a bunch of buttons. You get the random response. I mean, this is true. There was, still, there was a lot of thought. There was 80 brains maybe going into that. I only had one. So. Yeah, it was 80 brains and about 90 brain cells. I'm going, I'm taking the 1v1v1. Well, let's get into this. First team is Red Bull. And I don't think we need to speak about this. I think we're all on the same page. <laughs> Max, who's the one person? Who's the one person that beat Perez? <laughs> but it was Verstappen on 575 versus uh, Perez 285. And then we go down to Ferrari. Um, so, again, stock standard, I believe. Yeah, we all thought Leclerc. But Leclerc only beat Sainz by, like, what, four points or something? Like, it wasn't by wasn't by much, was it? Six points. There you go. Six points. Got it in there. So, it was actually pretty close. But we've all gone Leclerc. Who will score the most points for Mercedes? Now, this one is a bit interesting. <clears throat> Do you actually re- remember who finished ahead of it, the other ones? I believe it was Lewis, right? Lewis. It 
was Lewis. Lewis got 234 yeah. versus yeah. the 175. He had a really good run at the end of the season. He was getting a lot of good points. Um, George kind of died in the out. He kind of... Um, it will, Lando kind of assisted him into the wall at Singapore um, with his driving line. Uh, I mean, he also kamikaze into the side of Max Azerbaijan and said, Can I get a milk with any kind, or latte, any kind of milk? <laughs> Ankles talking your ass, bitch. Watching me. Now, McLaren, um, I went Piastri and you guys all went Norris. Uh, wasn't close. Norris got. Was it? No, Norris got 205 and Piastri got 97. So, Bevo, we're now equal, but the Discord is 35 <laughs> points ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're getting smashed by the collective minds at the moment. Um, I do know one team that I'm not getting points for. Yeah, Williams. When <laughs> 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 we, we get to it, um, the next one who will score the mo- uh, more points for Alpine? We've all gone Gasly because we know Ocon is a bit of a spaz. Shit. So, but it was actually really close. It was 62 versus 58. Um, that's that's one. Ocon had to do the fall for house that Ocon, that Ocon had 70 in that and still almost house for Gasly. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's one. Ocon, the type of motherfucker to eat a whole ass baguette for breakfast. Like, just straight raw. Just yeah, he would, he would eat it without like with any... Old chompers, no too. filling. Just, just bread. Well, fucking bread to you. It's going to work. Fernando Alonso hurt my feelings. So, Alpha Terry. Um, now this is qu- <laughs> this is quite interesting. Everyone went Nick DeVries. Um, what? No, 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 no. Um, and if Next you, slide. if you have a look at this, Yuki Tsunoda beat all three drivers. So. Technically, it was Yuki, obviously. So you know, here's the thing, guys. When you're a little autistic, you just gotta do what you do. You know. <laughs> I, I, I saw this slide, and I actually pissed myself when I was putting it together because it's just like there's no way all four of us put, um, like all four um, different answers were Nick DeVries. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Next up is Alpha Romeo. Who will be known as Kick in the 2024 season due to their crippling oh, gambling boy. addiction. But <laughs> we've all gone for Baltery Bottas. Um, now, do you remember how many points Bottas actually scored? Five. Not a lot. Because Alpha Mayo fell off pretty quick, didn't it? Alpha Mayo only had 16 points. Mm-hmm. And Bottas 16. got 10 and Joe got six. <laughs> well, Joe crashed at Zanvort as well. Like he was doing quite well at Zanvort, wasn't he leading at one stage in Zanvort? Uh, yeah, he, st- he stayed out, right? Yeah, he stayed out. They had a good strategy going, but um. Oh yeah, because uh, they Bottas was the only guy to say, "Hey, let me come into the pits," and they said, "Nope, don't pit before the green flag." Yeah, I remember watching the onboard of him because I was like, "This motherfucker knows what's up." I hear his radio, and they're telling him no, and I wanted to put a hole in my TV. He knows better. He even when he was at Mercedes, he knew better. Anyway. Poor man. Speaking of the Mercedes, here's the Aston Martin. Uh, pretty much the same same car a few years ago. But Aston Martin, everyone went Alonso, and you already know <laughs> what the answer is going to be. It's going to be Alonso. 206 to Stroll's 74. Daddy, Stroll. I uh, was thinking about his sister too much, I think, uh, during the season. And obviously, he broke his hand. Has, do you think he actually licks the inside of his visor to clean it? He's probably the one that's got the spit on his visor. If I was to say if any other driver's got spit on their visor, it would be him. Who will score the most points for Haas? Now, as we saw, we saw they only got 12 points. So, we've all gone K-Mag. But we're all wrong. Nico Hulkenberg actually got nine points versus K-Mag's three. Could you imagine doing a whole Formula 1 season scoring three points? That'd be awful. Could you imagine actually supporting a team that only scores 12 points? Yeah, it wouldn't be me. It would not be me. Speaking of teams that don't score points. Logan Sargent. There he is. is. Now, do you know how many points Logan Sargent actually got? One. You would be correct. You got one singular point compared to Alec Albon's 27. 
I also, but, I mean, with the, how that Williams car worked, wrap it in a straight line, bit of a handful. I mean, they could have worked around it. I feel like that's the kind of car where as a rookie, you should be getting the most out of it performance wise because you can just defend with straight line and anybody can do that. Mm. It's a, such a good tool to have in the box and Alex proved that time and time again. Yeah, it's a defensive machine. But it's because it, it, that is also because of the characteristics of the car. Like if you put him in like a Red Bull, he wouldn't be able to do the defending the same. He'd just be a bullet. He'd disappear. But um, yeah, that's the end of that section. So I'll move on to round four. But before we get started, we'll quickly have a look. 70 to Cows, 85 to myself, 80 to Bebo, and 120 for that Discord Collective Minds. So <laughs> Cows, you've actually made a bit of a comeback. Um, you're only 15 points off me 28-3, now. 28-3, don't count me out. Yeah. But here is where all the money gets made. 10 points per question. Fourth round. Is this the final round? Uh, no, wow. this is the second last round. Okay. Um, so this is the driver's... Oh, sorry. I just quickly skipped through it. Round, round four is the, uh, the teammate question. So 10 points uh, for each correct answer. So this is questions about two teammates. So the first one was Red Bull. Max Verstappen will triple Sergio Perez's points. Um, oh, sorry, win, sorry. We'll triple Sergio Perez's wins. Uh, we've all gone true except Bebo. Oh <laughs> as we know, Max Verstappen had a record-winning like amount this season, and he got 19 wins versus Sergio Perez's two. So he actually, uh, well, what, nine? He had nine times the amount of wins than Sergio Perez. You just hate to see it. So, Bevo, you're now equal with cows. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Moving on. Ferrari. Charles Leclerc will have more wins than Carlos Sainz. However, Carl, um, however, Sainz will have more podiums. Now, the funny thing about this is the truth was the opposite. Um, which we will see here because we've all gone false. And it was the inverse. Science had one win and three podiums, whereas Leclerc had six podiums. It's wild. So the reverse All was right, true. Yeah. yeah. That's funny that... Um, I still find it funny that Science won a race and Leclerc didn't, considering Leclerc, Science was nowhere near the front in terms of qualifying all year. And he ended up... That, the, the win. that entire Singapore weekend was just a lottery pick that kind of went to anybody who just performed the best. I mean, George wanted to put it in the wall, so. Yeah, this is Doesn't true. matter where you start, matters where you finish. Absolutely right. Mercedes. Now, this was the really funky one. George Russell and Lewis Hamilton's combined points will outscore the, the number two drivers. So, Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz combined points. Now, we've gone, we've got cows with true. I've gone false. Uh, Bevo's true and the Discord is true. Would you like to take a stab at what it actually was? Uh, I feel like Carlos actually picked it up this season, so probably. So it, it, it probably two thirty six to one seventy five, right? Well, it's George and Lewis's combined. Yeah. So essentially, yeah, Mercedes honestly, points. Mercedes. I don't think they had it earlier. Better. So the answer is false. The Mercedes were actually outscored by 76 points. Ooh. So Mercedes scored 409 points, but Perez and Sainz collectively scored more. I was thinking Perez had a lot less for some reason. Yeah, Perez had uh, 285. Because Max had so many. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Max had yeah. like <laughs> so many damn points. So it's just like, oh no going on here but there you go it's a false on that one i've cracked into 115 i'm pulling away from you two pass nico holkenberg and kevin magnuson will get along <laughs> now this is all up to interpretation but you've gone true i went false but i believe they did they even had an ice bath together have you seen that video of, uh, yeah, no, 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 this. they were uh, always good on Haas PR and all that throughout the year. Yeah. Yeah. They they had an ice bath. They, I think it was at um Qatar. Was it Qatar? 
it's pretty fucking good. Probably. Sounds yeah, like they, they, they added Ice Bath together. Yeah, I'll yeah, see if I can smart. find it and I'll chuck it in. Of, of them. That's a bit tight of a space because they're using like recycling bins. Like, I ain't, dude, you can't get there with another dude. Like, <laughs> that tight of a space. Jeez. Like I know you, I know you're shrinking and all because it's cold water, but like, bro, just wait. Like, get some fresh uh, ice. Give it five what do you mean that was a bro ice plunge? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah but what? that's a tight ice plunge. It doesn't matter. What, what's wrong? I mean, I don't know what you're bro. packing, but I got at least a nine mil, not a. <laughs> I don't know what. The, what, what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> What do you say? All I'm saying is, I ain't trying to be in those tight ass ice tablets of a man. That ain't weird. That ain't right. <laughs> I mean, hater. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're going to move on from that. that we're going to move that. We're going to move on. Aston Martin. Fernando Alonso will double Lance Stroll's total points. Well, we saw the points tally before. And Beaver, you've gone false. What the bloody hell? I don't hell? know. I, I don't know. I think, I think, I don't know. I think there was drugs involved. <laughs> well, we're looking at this. It was true. Uh, 74 times two is not 206. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> so, I think uh, you did math wrong. Um, so, yeah, right. Bebo. Wait, I like cousin plus cousin doesn't equal healthy baby. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, you can tell that to your, your Depends south. Depends how brother. far away the cousin blood is. Are you trying to justify what? sleeping with your what? cousin? There you go. No. What? No. Sweet home, Texas. Anyways, Texas next baby, slide. Lance, next, slide. Go, uh. next slide. <laughs> next slide. Alpha Terry. Nick DeVries. I feel like this is going to expose me. Nick DeVries will have a higher oh, average oh. finishing position than Yuki Sonoda. Oh, boy. Bevo, you've gone false. Oh. So, saving grace. Let's go. But, Let's go. But this was taking into account all the races that DeVries raced in. False was the correct answer. Sonoda's average finishing position was 11.6. Sorry, average finishing position. Yes, was 11.68 and DeVries's was 15.9. So you get a false plus 10 for you, Bebo. Back even with Cal. Love to see. Love to see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, it's false? Pardon? Did, wait, didn't Yuki Sonoda have a better finishing rate? He did. That's why it's false. Yeah. It makes it false. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, we know. Plus 10 because we knew that cows was a jackass. <laughs> Yo, I mean, Florida, dude, Florida just banned all sorts of shit in their schools. These kids are going to be even dumber than I am. So, Alfa Romeo, Valdry Bonas will have more top 10 finishes than Joe. Now, based on what we saw on the points before, you would think that the answer is true, and it was. Bottas finished in the top 10 four times, and Joe did it three times. So Joe finished 10th three times. So. Did you really have to tug our nuts like that? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I took too long to say that, didn't I? <laughs> Moving on. Fine then, I'll move on. Bro, it's like, you're about to be wrong. Nope. Alpine, Pierre Gasly will have a higher average qualifying position than Estevan Ocon. Cad, you went false. Oh, what? You're a nice cows. So, ain't a way. Ain't a way. Why have you got the polls? You, you, you've been bashing know. Ocon this whole time. And Hear me <laughs> out. I think my logic may have been that he's more French, which means he sends it harder in qualifying. <laughs> we don't know how the French drive. They just fucking send it. Like, it is smashed into shit. They park wherever. I mean, oh, Do they? Waldo, they piss him, you know, some shit like that, right? So, I mean, he does that, and then engine go kapoopoo. Well, speaking of kapoopoo, your score is going to lose out on that one because the answer is true, but it's only, it's very close. 11.05 versus 11.18. So it's very, very close. But yeah, Gasly. What was I thinking? What were you thinking? I guess he was more familiar with the car, maybe. Ooh, you have experience. Is that, I don't know. that moved really fast. Let's do that again. McLaren, Oscar Piastri will be on the podium before Lando Norris. Um... I'm pretty sure we, we all know the answer to this. But we've all gone false. And the answer was false. Norris was on at Great Britain and Piastri was on in Japan. So there you go. Six round difference. So nice. pretty stock standard. Super there. Rare. Pretty stock standard. Williams. 
Alexander Albon will have more Q3 appearances than Logan Sargent. Now, Bevo, please, for the love of God, can you not do this again? We go fucks. <laughs> but Logan Sargent, giving him a Remy, yeah. giving him a Remy the whole time. But Logan yeah. Sargent did make it twice into Q3, which I think is pretty good. Good of him. Um, Alex Albon obviously had the seven times, which is pretty impressive for that car. I loved to see him in the P in P6 and whatnot in quality, but that gives us our totals for the end of the fourth round of cows. You're on 140. I'm on 165. Bevo, you equal last with cows. Yeah. And uh, the collective mm. ones of the uh, the Discord are 200. So they're 35 points ahead of me. So that's really insulting because that's like a think tank full of apes at the zoo. <laughs> then why aren't you a part of it? <laughs> <laughs> so the final round. Now, do you remember this round? Top five in order. 15 points for a correct spot. Five points if they're in the top five, but in an incorrect spot. Oh, fuck. This is going to be embarrassing. So, no. let's bring it up. No, not Leclerc. Now, I'm going to show <laughs> I'm gonna show all of them. And then we get to... We can dissect every single one before I, I add the points. The cows, Leclerc in P1. Um... Like he's in the top five, but like like you said, you got to follow your, your your memo. Like what you're going for, you were going for that Ferrari being strong. You're going for Leclerc to win the championship, so it's only understandable that you get five points for that one. We all, and we all get the fifteen. But what's interesting is next we've all gone the inverse, and Leclerc didn't finish second. So we all get five again. Now, do you remember who came third? Do you remember? Uh, was it, that was Checo, right? No, it was Checo came second. No, Checo came second. And, oh shit! Right. Lewis Shamilton. Yes, Lewis came third, but nobody said nobody. Lewis. So. Because I went and Russell, and Russell got like 175 points. I didn't even get a point. So we didn't even get a point for George being in third. But you guys get Perez's yeah, being third. But then, next up, it's the inverse again. So we get the five points back anyway. Because <laughs> essentially, it's just like the top two are inverted. Three, four are inverted, yeah. and then everyone's just like, who's fifth? I don't know. Science. <laughs> we'll, put science we'll, put, we'll put science in um, at the bottom. But guess what? He didn't even finish fifth. No. No. <laughs> he didn't even finish in the top five. So nobody gets points for that. So as you can see at the top, cows, you get plus 15. I get plus 25. Bevo gets plus 25. And the Discord get plus 25. So that means... We go, we go to our final standings. Cows, you came last yeah. on 155. After all the shit I talked about, Logan Sargent picks this season. It's well deserved. <laughs> and your Alpine. Bevo, third with the 165. Uh, I've obviously come second, and the Discord came first. But I was only behind him by 35. I think that's not too bad. Um, I am so any, disappointed. Anytime I can beat Cows. Discord. It's it's a good time. I might as well. Walk. Well, yeah, because you can't do Pop it on track. You can just hook up what you can get. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, last time we were anyway. on ACC, you blasted through the side of my door like Logan blasted through your new car jacket. Doesn't stuff. matter. Anyways, <laughs> cow sucks. I, and I didn't even take it serious. I I rode Logan Sargent and Sergio. Yeah. Never happening. I'm only stats now. You, you know what saved me? What, what was the McLaren pit stop pit? That's 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 the reason I. Won. Yeah, they get they gave you plus ten, so it allowed you to go ten more than cows. Was the McLaren? Oh, yeah. fuck you, yeah. God, it was McLaren. The McLaren no pit stop pit. But um, thank you, cows and Bebo, for joining me this Absolutely. year, uh, this time. I'm, I'm doing this. It's so much fun to go and predict stuff that you've got nothing, no no clue about what's going to happen. And then you come to it, you're like, oh my God, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Once you know. 
but it was awesome uh thank you guys for coming and thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one that might come out after the car reveals i think is when i'm going to do it so stay tuned for that and i believe i've got some other things coming in the works too so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time